What's going on everyone? Oh, welcome back some more All the Mods 9. Today we are hunting for antimatter. Now in order to do that, we gotta make a couple of things first. For starters, we gotta try and make some infinite storage disks, cause we were, we're running out of space. I made another I made another big disk and it just it, there's there's too much stuff. We have several new seeds. Uh, cause you know, we need a bunch of stuff. Like we need a lot of steel, we need some iron, we need some gold. So I just I went ahead and made some bigger disks and it's just not enough. So we're making we're making some really big boys. Now, I think we have enough stuff. The limiting factor is definitely going to end up being glass. I don't know if we have enough. So, let's see. This will give us this gives us 2.6k small storage parts. So, we'll see if that ends up being enough to craft all the way uh, all the way up there, but uh, we'll see. Been a fat minute. We got uh here we only have this one. <laughs> we use so many resources, it's ridiculous. So we're just going to stop here. I went ahead and made a 4096K. That should be fine as far as physical storage goes for now. I also made some fluid storage disks. And I think that should be enough fluid storage for what we're going to do for now. But right now, we're going to do some chem lab shenanigans and make some lithium so we don't have to set up the, uh, the mechanism lithium farm. Let's see. Ender gate... Oh, damn it. We need more ender gates. Are you serious? Can we make more ender gates? Let's see. Gate. Uh, how many can we make? We can make nine. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just do spirit. It's not that big a deal. So, got our dissolvers. Got our other things. Slap these on here. Now we need some end stone. I'm going to go ahead and turn some of this crap into bricks. And that should be good. I don't think you have to smelt these. It's just like this, right? Yeah, okay. Boom. Now, this isn't a... It's not like a 100% chance, but it is a decent enough chance to make me okay with doing this. So we'll grab some pipes. We'll go ahead and... Yeah, we'll just grab a stack of those. We'll do a ender chest here. We'll do some orange, because that's the one that I know of off the top of my head. We'll stick this here. Uh, do a little pipe here. Grab a wrench. Nope. 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 Come on. There we go. All right. Grab our wrench. Connect it up just like, you know, normal. Normal system. So this should... Yeah, it'll start bringing stuff out. Now, I think we already got some lithium. Uh, okay. You are set to bring stuff out. Good. So, lithium. Beautiful. All right. We're already getting lithium. Okay, so now we just need we just need to set up something to hold the end stone. Just uh, do we have? We don't have any. Well, this will be this will be fine. It doesn't need to be like super. Uh, right there. It doesn't need to be super big. Let's do this. Do out of this one. Um. Hmm. That might not actually work. We, I think we need to do this a little differently. Uh, we'll probably have to go underneath. Go ahead and do this. Like so, because otherwise it's going to go into the other chest, I believe. This. Boom. And we can go back up. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. We should be able to just stick all of our end stone in here. And it will it'll take it and dissolve it. Awesome. So we got lithium going from this. We'll deal with this later. It's not going to be permanent, right? So we'll get our lithium from there. We don't need a whole lot of it. We only need a little bit of it. So we're not going to worry too much about it. All right. Now we got to set up a whole bunch of other crap so in order to get the uh the antimatter we're gonna need i think it's a couple of these guys Let's see so we'll need some enrichment chambers some steel casings okay what are we missing oh we're missing glass really and do i still have that set up oh shit i don't uh i thought you were smelting glass man what's going on why are you slow? I went ahead and set this up trying to make our 
our processor's faster and whatnot, so it should, in theory. Yeah, what the hell? Why don't you have sand? Orange. Oh, that's sandstone. We already smelted all of our sand. Crap. Okay. Oh, we gotta go get sand? Last well, card. We should be able to continue on this one. Oh, no, we need basic circuits. That's right. Well, I've been making a bunch of these, so we should be good for that. All right, get these in there. Okay, go ahead and make these boys. Okay, we need one of these. Uh, I think I need, remember, I think I need two of these pressurized thingies. Let's see, grab these, dynamic tank, grab a couple of those. And multiple tank. Oh, okay. Only get one of those at a time, huh? All right. Uh, da, da, da. what? What do you mean I don't have an enrichment chamber? It's there in my inventory, you dumb dumb. There you go. There's that guy. This one here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so we got those two. Now the purpose of those is to make the uh it's to make the the substrate, right? Let's see. Biofuel goes into the pressurized reaction chamber that makes, yes, makes the substrate and also makes ethylene. So we need all that for the uh uh what the fuck? It's it's HP something or other. See if we can, uh, see. Come on. Come on. Yeah, HTPE pellets. Need those to make the, uh, the big reactor that actually produces the, the, uh, the antimatter. Okay, so now we need the crusher set up. So we're going to grab some more uh, pipes. Pipe. Grab some of these boys. We're going to need a wrench that I keep forgetting to keep in my inventory. There we go. Now we're just gonna we're gonna destroy the wall because you know why not, and uh, we're just gonna do this and bring this over here. Okay, this needs to go. Actually, you know what? We can probably just make a new crusher for this. Do I have a crusher? No, I don't. Okay, so we're gonna make a crusher. Uh, crush. Where's the? Oh, there's basic crushing fat. No, slow bitch. Slow down. Really? I need buckets of lava? God dang it. Okay, there's that, there's this, boom, one. And you, this guy, oh. I should have enough. Oh, really? I don't have any more alloy? Oh, uh, you know what? That's probably because I put turned most of it into this stuff. Okay. Uh. Oh, you sack of crap! Oh! All right, an elite crushing factory should be good enough. Now we can just toss this. Uh, I don't know. Just put it like right. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> that's fine. Okay, grab that. Grab some ender gates. There we go. I think it's already. Is it already? Oh, I guess it's already powered, huh? What's powering you? You must be on a. You wanna, I don't know what the hell's powering you. Maybe it's from uh, the other. The other machine. There we go. So we'll grab a speed upgrade. Only got six of them, huh? All right, well, that should be should be fine. Shouldn't be that big of an issue. All right. There we go. Okay. So we got biofuel going. Now with the biofuel, we need to put it in the pressurized reactor. Yes. Okay. And that takes another one of those. So we're gonna make another one of our electrolytic separators to get more hydrogen and oxygen. So we do elect. Prolytic separator. Go, all right, we need one of these. I need some gold dust, which you can make from golden bars. Uh, hammer, not the best way to make this stuff, mind you, but, oh, son of a bitch. Not the best way to make this stuff, but we don't, oh, you fucker, I did it again. Okay. Um, We don't have any raw gold, so it's fine. All right, we got one of these. Now I need one of these again. Pressurized tubes. Okay. Some uh, tubes. Tube, tube. Just regular. Pressure. Uh, there you go. Basic pressurized tube. Some glass and some steel. Okay. Grab right, that. These. We'll do an elite because why not? All right. So we've got that. This guy here. All right, uh, hang on a minute. We gotta, we gotta think this one through. So we got it going into here. That'll make the substrate. We gotta put that into our system, and that'll get ethylene, and then ethylene has to go into 
liquid form in the reactor? No, in the condens... Condens... Condensator? That's a very strange word. Okay, so we'll need a condens... Condens... Something or other. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's get right here. Okay, so we need some basic fluid tanks. I think I need a couple of these. So we'll make a few. Okay. I got these. I don't know how many of these we need. But we'll make a few. <laughs> Alright, there you go. So we got one for now. That should be enough. So this creates the biofuel. The biofuel will go... I guess we'll just, we're just gonna keep going up here. Biofuel will go into the reactor. We'll do that. Pipe this in here. Does this always look like that? Let me make it look like that. There we go. Okay, grab our ender gate. That'll power it. Now this. Let's go out of you and into you. Right? Apparently not. Uh, what? What are we missing? Hang on a minute. Biofuel goes into a pressurized reaction chamber. Pressurized reaction chamber. Why you no go in? In our mode normal. Ignored. You're powered. But we can't, uh, what are these? Is it because of the way? Oh, okay. It's just configured to be, there you go. Okay. That should work. Now we need... Okay, that will go. So we need water and we need the hydrogen. So the electrolytic separator can go here. We'll get a pressurized tube here. This needs water. So do we have any sinks laying around? I do have a sink. Grab a pipe. Fluid pipe. There we go. Not that bad boy. Come on. Come on. Oh, wait, right. Ugh. Let me sneak through. Let me sneak through. Oh, uh, there you go. Okay. Got our fluid pipe somewhere in our inventory. I don't need that anymore. Okay. We got our, that there. Now we need our freaking pickaxe. Okay. Got our sink. Like that. Pull this out. That'll fill you up. Now we don't. Uh, oh, there you go. Dump excess, dumping excess, idle. Okay, so we should get excess oxygen from this. Now, can we... Oh, oh, uh, ooh. Good to know. Gotcha. Okay, put that back. Put that back. Oh. Okay. So, can we just feed... Look, just output, output two. Hmm. Okay. Actually, we probably need to probably need to be on this side to make sense of this. Okay. So we got this side over here going input left. Input output energy left input. Okay, that should be fine. So why are you not taking any of the resources? What's going on here? Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I always forget. You got to set. Your gas is in the gas section so we want this to be output one and this one to be output two and that should start feeding the hydrogen into our machine yes okay so we want to dump excess oxygen that's fine this will build up here now you also need water right biofuel and water okay cool so let's go ahead and make a another sink sink Boom. I still need, I need a bucket of water. That's fine. Easy craft. There we go. Boom. Problem solved. Let's see. Can we get, can we get through? Thank you. Okay. All right. That out of here. Boom. Okay. Should be able to do that. All right. Now you're humming. Cool. So that should be, yes, that's substrate taken care of. Now, uh, we should probably actually have that saved. So now... We need ethylene, right? Yes, okay. So we gotta take our ethylene, put it into liquid form. Boy, oh boy, does this stuff get confusing when you are not a mechanism expert. And that's exactly what happened. We uh, tried to get everything taken care of and it's all a whole cluster. So we're moving everything down here to make everything look uh, a little bit better. 
and we have a better idea of what the hell we're doing. So up here, we've got our electrolytic separator getting its water from above. It goes into our repressurized reaction chamber that takes the biofuel from the crushing factory and turns it into substrate. Stuffs the substrate into here. The uh, substrate production produces liquid ethylene. The liquid ethylene comes through this pipe here into the rhodium condensator. All right. So now we got to deal with the liquid ethylene and make the HDPE pellets. So we're going to go ahead and take our reaction chamber that has liquid ethylene and oxygen in here. We're going to make sure our, our gases are set to output two for the oxygen. And we're going to make sure that this is set for input uh, on the left. Good. So we got our pipe here. Now, if we set our block so we can stand like that, oh, 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 oh. right here. Okay, so we should be able to see the oxygen. All right, oxygen is coming in here. Good, now this is a liquid, so our fluids need to be output top, and this needs to be fluid input bottom. So we can just stick a fluid pipe here, do that, and you'll start filling with liquid ethylene. Now, we need to get the substrate into the reaction chamber. So we're gonna bust out this wall over here too. Get this out of here. All right, now, you know what? We actually should be able to just, can we just pipe this like like this and take this one out of here? Maybe just pipe this guy up into you? You know, we could probably just bypass that all together, huh? We, if we really wanted to. Let's see, put that there. You're gonna go, you're gonna go out of here, right? Out of the top and out of you. So all this stuff is gonna fill, fill the, yep, okay, cool. So what do you need? You need not enough power, right? We didn't put a, we didn't put a conduit or a, uh, an ender gate on you. Whoop. All right, so there we go. Substrate is being turned into HDPE pellets. Perfect, so now we gotta get the HDPE pellets out. Okay, so we will take our, let's see, which one, which one do we assign it to? Assign it to red, red, white. All right, we got that right here. Beautiful. So we got, ooh, hang on a minute. So we can pull it from the side here, which means we'll need to set its output uh, for solid items. Right side output. Okay. And stick this guy, stick this, stick, stick. Okay, there we go. Stick that there. We're gonna bust this one out. I gotta be careful how much we bust out because it does kind of interfere. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna have to be careful about that one. Okay. So we'll put our red, red, white here. That'll put the HTPE pellets out over there. All right. So now we need the red, red, white to be sending into our, uh, uh, that goes into our gas system. Right. So that's gonna be making the sheets. We could use some ender chest shenanigans to get them out, but I think what we're actually gonna do is try and set them right into a enriching chamber from the reaction or the reactor. That way we don't have to go around and <laughs> we're gonna look at the, the absolute cluster that is whatever the hell I created in order to get this stuff done. All right, so we're gonna take this stuff out of here, grab our ender chests and pretend like, uh, like nothing happened. All right. So we've got the enriching chamber here. We've got our other ender gate that we were using there. Now you are the guy over here. Sweet. So we can just stick this here. You, what we'll be doing that. We'll stuff a ender gate on you and an item. Oh, let's, uh, let's make sure we're set up first. So solids are outputted on the right. Yes. Okay, good. Now let's, let's stick this here and make sure that the pipe is, oh, you know what? We can just set this here or something. Yep, 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 much better, much better. Okay, so that should come out. That fills you with, all right, cool. That fills with pellets and then that creates the HDPE sheets. Now those are used for making the casing for the, uh, the, re the reactor that actually makes the uh, antimatter. As you can see, we made quite a bit of them before we decided to uh, re reorganize everything. So that's going there. We'll get those taken care of. We'll set that to go into an, another ender chest, uh, which isn't gonna be that big of a deal because we already have a bunch of them. 
So we'll use the the uh, EE, the, the red, red, white for that one. We'll uh, stick that there. Put you here. Make sure you are set to solids in the back is output. So you'll go there. Make sure you're an out on the machine and that'll start filling up with sheets. Perfect. So that is taken care of. Sheets are done. Okay, now on to gases and fluids. And now that we have collected our shame, we can continue. So the first thing we're gonna be making is sulfur dioxide? I guess, I think it's sulfur dioxide. Yeah, 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 yeah. sulfur dioxide. Now that's used in from the chemical oxidizer. So this thing's a little, little strange. I don't know if there's like a, an, a way to tell which side is the front or what. But I, looking at this, I would not expect that this was the front, but it, it is in fact the front. So that's important to note as you're, uh, you're building things. So we've got our sulfur oxidizer here. We're gonna slap that down there. Now there's a couple of different types of sulfur that you can get. There's the sulfur from, sulfur from Railcraft, and there's also the sulfur from Gregtech. Now, it doesn't look like the Railcraft Reborn sulfur still spawns, because I don't, I don't, I didn't actually see anything in here for it. So we actually went ahead and made the sulfur seeds out of the uh, the sulfur that we had, because you can use the Railcraft sulfur, and you can usually find, I guess now the Gregtech sulfur. But uh, we're gonna set up a, if I can remember which color of chest we did it on. Let's see, okay, so it is the white, red, red chest. So we're gonna go ahead and make our way back into our little room and we will set up our other ender chest in here. Ah, oh, shit. We're getting into our, getting into our reactor room. Okay, uh, can we, okay, we still do it up here. Oh shit, I think I just broke something I didn't even need to break. All right, we can do it, uh, we can do it here. So that's the white, red, red, I think. Let's see, yep, yep, there we go. We got this guy here, that's the sulfur chest. Put this one here, so we're gonna take back on solid items. The back is going to be input. And we'll take our solid item pipe, stick that in here. We're gonna remove the connectivity from this one. Do an out, uh, oh, shit. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, wait, 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 wait. Out there, and out on that one, okay. So you should be filling up with sulfur. All right, now we gotta get the power going for that one. So we'll slap that on there, and away she goes. She is producing sulfur dioxide. Okay, so now we need to work on using the sulfur dioxide, which makes sulfur trioxide, using oxygen and your sulfur dioxide. Now, originally, I thought it mattered which side your uh, your stuff goes in on. It doesn't. It doesn't actually matter at all. Uh, it's it's a little confusing when you look at it. Like it it doesn't matter which which of these has it has it on. It is it's fine. Don't worry about it. So we got our chemical infuser here. We got our sulfur dioxide being made there. We will get our chemical infuser. Slap it down on this one. Now we're gonna go ahead and make sure that the top is, n yeah, okay, none, uh, none. There we go, all right, so that's set up. Shouldn't have to worry about that. We can actually, if we really wanted to, uh, no, okay, good. It's, it's working just fine. So we're gonna put some power on that and we're going to go over to our sulfur dioxide and make sure that on the gases part, the output is set to right. And then we will grab a pressurized pipe slap that in there and you should be filling up yes okay you're filling up with sulfur dioxide you can see it going through the pipe here and it should be holding steady as we uh make it yeah it'll go right into the pipe and it'll go right into here as it uh, fills itself up so now we need to get oxygen and we can do that let's see uh yeah okay that's ethylene we don't want that so we're going to use another uh let's see which one is it? the uh the splitter this one, the electrolytic separator, there we go. All right, grab this guy. Uh-huh, put this uh, right, yeah. Now you will produce, we don't need the hydrogen, so we're just gonna void it, right? So we'll grab our ender gate, turn that back on. 
make sure that the, the left-hand side is set to output two, because that's where the oxygen is. It's on the second, second side. And we're gonna just turn this to none, just in case we end up using that side and it matters. So we're gonna stick our pipe onto here, connecting our chemical infuser to the oxygen supply, and then it's going to produce the sulfur trioxide. All right, now we can use the sulfur trioxide. So we need water vapor for that, as well as the sulfur trioxide. Again, the position in which you make them does not matter. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna do our chemical infuser. So we can just bring it down uh, and everything should be fine. We shouldn't have to worry about it. So we'll take our thing, make sure gases are top as inputs, doesn't matter. So we'll do, I don't know, input one. Yeah, that should be fine. We'll do input one on that one. We'll take it out. Let's see, we want the uh, we want the sulfuric acid to be into a dissolution chamber. Hmm. Hmm. Where do we want that? I guess we can just send it off into the left. So we'll do output gases left. Uh, left output. There we go. Okay. So now we got all that set up. So we should be able to put our pipe down here. Oh, and we did something wrong. So the top of gases, top is none. Set that to input. Uh, but one, that's where it is right now. And there we go. Sweet. So you should be working on it. See bottom on gases. Oh, there you go. See bottom's not set right. So you got the output going. There you go. It's filling up our little pipe. And we got the left-hand side coming out. So we'll stick another pipe onto you. And we will grab our sulfuric acid one. Let's see, which one did I have that in? Did I uh, have that set up yet? Oh, okay. It's like we're, uh, we're waiting on that one. Okay, so we can do... We do the water vapor now for the uh, for making the uh, the the sulfur acid. All right, so we'll grab our beautiful little condensator, slap that bad boy down. We're gonna set the uh, we're pumping out a gas, right? So we'll set the gas to output on left. Beautiful. Now this one confused me for a minute. It matters which direction you have this arrow. So you're trying to get water into uh, water vapor. Now you can probably just switch it around, but this this worked for me, so we're just gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it as is. Now you need water, right? So we're gonna have to stick another. See, so you don't need to come down, right? So we can just use a sink placed right here. Now I don't think you'll. Ex I think you do need a pipe. I don't think you'll accept. Oh, maybe you will accept it. Input. Uh, yeah, no, okay, you won't. So you do need the fluid pipes set up. Nope, get out of here. Pipes set here, okay. And we'll get our input of liquids on the right. There we go. So that should be filling up once we open up the valve. There we go, beautiful. So it's full, now you're making the water vapor. That's a gas, so we stick this pipe over here, our gases right is input it's going to be right input two because that's where our water vapor is right now so we should be able to stick this in fills with water vapor this starts filling up with water vapor as soon as it's powered there we go okay now it's using it it's producing sulfuric acid so the sulfuric acid is now filling up this lovely little pipe here okay so we officially have sulfuric acid taken care of now we need our where did our other machine go there we go so chemical dissolution chamber. This is the thing that uses the actual sulfuric acid to make your hydrofluoric acid. Now it takes fluoride and depending on when you made your world, you'll have two different types of fluoride. You'll have the mechanism fluoride or you'll have the Greg Tech fluoride or both as in, as my case was. So you can just use the regular fluoride, make it into a block and it'll actually turn into a block of Greg Tech fluoride and you can just create Create it into the, the uh, Greg fluoride and use it that way. So we're gonna go ahead and slap that down. We're, where do you go? There we go. Yep, okay. Slap that down. Uh, we're gonna make sure it's set first. That's a gas. We got our gas coming in right is input. There we go. We can break that. 
set you down and you'll start filling up with gas. All right, perfect. And now you need fluorite. So we're gonna set up the fluorite import. Uh, let's go make sure we know which of our ender, Ooh, did not mean to, didn't mean to do that. All right, uh, what? Oh God, you unequipped it, son of a bitch. Turn off the hover. Jesus. Okay, fluorite. It's one of our importers. Did we, okay, did not do that one yet. Good. All right, so we'll do that on the purple white white because that's the other one we have set up. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Got that one, that is this. Nope. There we go, there we go. There it is. All right. We got you here. We're going to take you and put a exporter. Uh, wait. Exporter, import, goes in. Uh, yeah? No. Hang on. Exporter? That's what I can never remember. Mm, no, it's gonna export out there. We just use an item, item pipe. There we go. Boom, got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. So you're taking solids from inputting from the left. Beautiful. We'll go put the fluoride into the importer. Come over here. All right. Uh, oop. There we go. You'll start filling with fluoride. Uh, we can put some speed upgrades, which I have somewhere. Speed upgrades to make this go faster. Oh, nope, not that. Definitely not that. Uh, there we go. Take that. I'll probably take that back out. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that's the fluorite going in, and that will be our hydrofluoric acid. Right there. All right, so the hydrofluoric acid is used with the chemical infuser and uranium oxide to make the uranium hexafluoride which you're gonna need to make your fizzle fuel. So we're gonna take, oh, oh you need power, right. Right, you kinda need to power things. Okay. So we take another infuser right here. And since we're pulling the acid from here, we're gonna stick our infuser down right here, like that. And let's see, you don't take a, Solid, right? No, you're only these. There's another oxidizer, right? So let's see, where's our other oxidizer? I guess it doesn't really matter. We can put our uh, our second oxidizer, which we I don't think we actually have one. All right, so we'll do oxi oh, 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 oxidize. All right, so we make one. Beautiful oxidizer. There we go. Back up to speed. That one, boom, chemical oxidizer. All right, so the acid is going to come from the top. So we'll do gases, input, I mean, it doesn't matter, right? So do that one on that one. We'll do input to there, and we'll do output on the side. All right, so the chemical oxidizer will take in, uh, do we have any of the other? Ender chest set up for this. I don't think so. I think we should be good. Uh, okay, that's set up, that's set up. Okay, so they all are set up. So we're gonna do a new color. We'll just do a purple and a purple and a white. That guy, do that here. Purple, 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 white. And you will take this here. You take your solids from the left, good. And then you're going to output your stuff there. And it is a gas, yeah, it's a gas. We use a pressurized tube and we'll stick that out here. In order to get that, we'll take that pipe back. Okay, now we'll take you there. So we should be putting our stuff out. Output, there we go, so you should be taking gases from the top and put one, hmm, hang on a minute. Gotta make sure that the gas is set to output. There we go. Filling with hydrofluoric acid. Beautiful, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and set up our uranium to come out of our other ender chest. Right here. That is going to be the purple, purple, white. 
boom. Grab an exporter here. Do this. Okay, we'll grab our uranium, which is somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, grab that. Stick that in there. You'll start pulling that. Okay, uh, we can probably, we do want this to be fast. So we'll uh, stick another speed, some speed upgrades in there. We don't have our speed upgrade. Yeah, okay. <laughs> glad we, uh, glad we caught that one. Okay. So you should be filling with uranium in a mere moment once we turn this valve on. There we go. Okay. And you need to take solids from input left. All right. Now do we just have to reset you? We might. I did notice that that happens sometimes. So we got that coming out. And you're still not taking it. What is going on? All right, we just skipped a step. So we got our enrichment chamber here. The enrichment chamber is actually what takes the uranium. So we got that, that, set the valve out. So you should be doing that. You'll produce your uh, uranium. Now I do need another Ender gate, ender gate. I don't think I have any more. Yeah, no, okay. So uh, let's see, we'll have to make some more. Boom, we got our power going. So you gotta make sure that you have bottom set as output. That should start going into your oxidizer once you set that to on. There we go. And that should make the uranium shenanigans. There we go. Okay, good. Uranium oxide and we are making uranium hexafluoride. So we take the uranium hexafluoride into a isotropic centrifuge, which we don't actually have crafted yet, I don't believe. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's see, isotropic, there we go. Oh, 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 <laughs> there we are. All right, isotropic centrifuge, that takes the lead, basic chemical tank, some ultimate control circuits, and there we go, boom. Now, as you can see, you can use different types of lead depending on what you have. So uh, that's, that's a positive thing. Now, all right, we're, gonna, we're actually gonna look at this before we set everything up. So we're getting it on the left-hand side. Gases, left is input, all right. Now you produce the fizzle fuel, which is a liquid. So we're gonna need, uh, we're going to need fluid pipes for that one. All right, so we'll go ahead and grab, oh, don't crash, okay, Woo. we're good. Slap you down here, now you'll take this we're gonna set gases to let's see so right is output there we go there we go baby holy crap okay this is i'm sure you can make this look better i wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me but i think this is pretty all right like we've we've only got a couple of pipes to each different thing so there you go, there's our fizzle fuel, and now we gotta move on to what uses the fizzle fuel, which is gonna be the fission reactor. All right, now that we got our fizzle fuel going, we need a place to uh, put the reactor. And since I don't really know how to move this stuff around other than the ME system, and we can't do that yet because we don't have all the stuff set up yet, we're just gonna go pretty far away from our base and uh, hope that if this thing blows up, our base doesn't blow up. So we got our waste stone out here so we can get to and from here pretty easily. Now, we're going to go ahead and build this as a 5x5 five five, as recommended in the little quest thing. Now, if you go over here, it'll, it'll actually show you a useful useful tip on how to... on the amount of materials that you need for this. It's, it's kind of a nice little, little thing at the end in there. So we're going to go ahead and grab all this stuff, and we'll be right back. Now, assuming we're doing this right, we should be good. We got our fission fuel assemblies in there with our control rod assemblies on top. Everything's encased in uh, glass and the frame. So, yeah, it works. Sweet. Awesome. All right, so now we've got a lot of ports on this one. I think I, I think I put like five ports on this, and I did that because I don't want you to blow up. So we're going to go ahead and fuel you with water. As it says it needs to be cooled and it mentioned water so we're gonna pipe water into you and you should in theory okay there you go so we got water going in all right now hmm, that seems pretty slow can we do some upgrades Upgrade. we go let's see this and this 
Get out of here. Oh, get out. Oh, no. All right. So, all right, that looks, that looks pretty quick. So assuming we don't, we don't use too much. Oh, cool. Fills up. Assuming we don't use too much water, we should be fine. Yeah, okay. It, it should be fine. All right, so now, now we got to connect the fizzle fuel to it in order for it to start producing some shenanigans. Now, before we do that, we're going to go ahead and make a bit of a, a little bit of a walkway over here. Let ourselves be able to move around a bit. Now, we want our solar neutron activator thingy to be over this way. Hey, oh, I love that. You can use all kinds of bronze for that. Sweet. So this is why we have it out here. It's because we need, we need sun in order for this thing to run. Um, now, I don't know if you need power or not. I'm going to, we're just going to, oh, 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 okay. I'm assuming that you just work by solar power then. Now, you got an in and an out. So that's the waste in and that stuff out. So I'm assuming that goes through this. Question is, are you a gas or are you a fluid? Like, what, uh... What are you exactly? Okay, Wiki says that uh, pressurized tube should work. So we'll just go ahead and slap that bad boy down into here. And do I have to, I probably have to configure you, right? Yeah, front is gonna be input that puts the nuclear waste in. So we'll do a, um, I mean, you make a liquid, but everything seems to be a gas. So we'll go ahead and do this out. All right. Oh, there you go. Gases front output. Nope. There. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Input output. There we go. And then items input output. Beautiful. So whichever one it is, it'll uh, it'll work itself out. All right. Now we need a. Uh, let's see. We can do. I don't know. Drawers will probably be a little easier. Uh, I mean, it only does one item, right? So we'll do these. Go ahead and slap these guys down. Eh. Oh, wait, no. He oh, get ahead of yourself. Get ahead of yourself. You need to cool it down. It's in a... Uh, yeah. There were more reaction chambers. And do I have any more of those? I do not. Should be able to make a couple. Oh, uh, what are we missing? Enrichment chamber. That's fine. I think I need two of these for this. For both the... Uh, both the radioactive materials. Got this. Have you down here? Oh wait. Hang on. You aren't gonna give me that time. We're gonna go ahead and slap this down and place you down like that. So we okay, that is the front, I assume. Beautiful. Alright, we get that. So we got yes. Okay, left is input. That one. We'll make another we need another ender chest. Let's see which one. I don't know which one this is. So we'll go ahead and slap this bad ball down right here. Do this guy right here. Okay, that's the, the PPE sheets. Okay, got it. Do that. All right, now we'll go back and set this up because this needs to have fluorite running into it. So this will all come. Uh, it might actually cause problems if I if I already put that out there. So we're gonna we're gonna wait on that one. We'll let you do your thing. Uh, we'll grab some ender gates. Plus you on there. So you're powered. Are you? Well, it's nighttime, so we're not going to know if you're powered yet. All right, let's grab our waystone. Go home real quick. Come on, come on. Get, get on the, get on the block. Get on the block. Here we go. We need our fluorite. Grab a couple of those. We're going to go easier way down here. All right, uh, and we'll do it on. Oh, hang on a minute. Uh, we might not want to pull it out from that one. We'll just do a all purple. purple. Okay, boom, boom, boom. That should work. Now we'll just grab. I don't think I have my exporters on me. Exporter. Go grab another one of these. Put that. Okay. Boom. Upon closer inspection, it is actually fluorite dust for this one, not the fluorite gem. So we went ahead and set up a crusher and a chest to process that stuff while we're chilling over here. And we should 
be able to make this work once we get some nuclear waste in it. So we'll go ahead and set it up for orange. Let's go here. Boom. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So now, yes, beautiful. All right, you're filling with that. Uh, we get an upgrade. We'll fill that rapidly. Okay. So the waste will come out of here. Go in here. Do this thing. Come out on another ender chest. We'll go ahead and set that up on the back. Back output. Oh, good. Wait a minute. There's that, and we can just grab another ender chest. We use so many ender chests, man. That's probably a bad thing. Like, I can't, I can't imagine that that's, that's good. There's got to be a better way to do it, but uh, it's, eh, it works. So I'm not really worried about it. Okay, grab that. And we can actually just do, like, a purple in the middle. Okay. Not really where I wanted to put that, but uh, that's fine. So we'll do purple in the middle. And we'll do an out on that one. Sweet. So you should build that stuff out of you. All right. You'll process that. I guess the uh, the only thing left to do right now is going to be to turn this bad boy on, right? So we'll grab this. Here we go. Let's hope it doesn't blow up at our face. Like, uh, like that. Okay. Ooh. Our pressurized pipe has nothing going through it. What's going on? Oh, there you go. Fizzle fuel. All right. Activate the reactor. Ooh, Jesus. That is, uh, that was a bit loud. Can we, uh, can we turn that down, maybe? Okay, we got it. Now, before this blows up, uh, we got to do the thing that we totally forgot to do, which is make sure that there's a way to get our steam out. That way the thing doesn't blow up. So we're going to quickly try and try and get that done. Uh, can we get some blocks to build on so we can stand on something? Uh... I'm not too worried about uh, the reactor running right now, just because, I mean, it's a small one. You shouldn't build up too quick, right? Am I just uh, wrong on that one? I don't know. We'll see. It doesn't seem to be building up too quick. Yeah, okay. We should be fine. So, grab that. Get this guy out of here. There we go. So, I'm assuming... I'm assuming it's a gas. Do that. Stick this guy here. And... Make it a. Uh, I have to do that one. Oh. Oh, we just voided. I think we just voided nuclear waste. Okay. Um. Well, this is kind of a problem, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so that's voiding nuclear waste. Damn it. Oh, you know what? Hang on a minute. Maybe if we do. Mm. A little nerve-wracking, to be honest. Uh, do this one out this way. And then... You should be getting nuclear waste. You'll start building up. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we got polonium working. So now we gotta make this one... an out? Uh... Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! All right, hang on a minute. Boy, am I glad I read this before I actually started breaking it. Um, we got nuclear waste in this pipe, and I'm pretty sure if we if we break it, it's gonna blow up. Well, we're gonna we're gonna get that in there. Uh, we're gonna try try very carefully to uh not make this blow up. Can we not fix this? Oh shit. Oh, buddy. All right, well, here we go, boys. Uh, okay. Cool. So, in that case, uh, <laughs> uh, oh, what? Can we not? Okay, we can't change this to uh, to an out anymore. What's the deal with that? Um, hmm. 
Well, shit. Uh, hang on. Bro. Bro, it's got different settings. There's a configure, a wrench, and a rotate. We had the motherfucker in rotate. So we can change it perfectly fine. All right, input only, output waste, output coolant. Okay. Oh my God. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, all that stress. Does this fucking take care of our... Oh my God, that takes care of our problem. You son of a bitch. God damn it. All right, well. Let's... Let's turn the damn thing back on, see if it works. All right, activate. Okay, so you're going. You're building up temp. Diesel fuel is going in. It's still building up. Looks like it's it's being used. All right. Are you building up waste in here? Are you winning, son? Looks like we're winning, dad. All right, so this is the polonium have we made no all right now how much does it take to make polonium it's a thousand millibuckets you son of a bitch okay well that gives us time to set up the nuclear waste barrels to deal with the actual crap that comes out of this stuff so why don't we go ahead and do that let's see uh, mechanism waste there we go all right so we got to have a lot of these. Go ahead and make some of these. We got plenty of piping. All right, and we'll just, uh, I mean, I guess we'll just put it, put it underground. Seems like the best option. So we'll just, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we can just, oh, okay. I guess we're going from up top. So, oh, Jesus, get that out of here. Okay, so energy, fluids, waste, gas, I don't know if this is a fluid. What kind of what kind of what kind of stuff is nuclear waste? Does it tell me? All right. Well, internet says it's gas, so we're gonna believe the internet because the internet's never wrong. So we're gonna go ahead and just slap these bad boys down right here. Let's see now they do take time to decay. Is my understanding? So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll place a few. So, I don't know. I mean, we have a stack, right? Uh, how much, how quickly does it do it again? Decays one mill bucket per 20 tickets. Uh, and we're not really producing that stuff too fast. So, I mean, and I guess, I guess we'll just use the 64 that we made. All that good. That's eh, fine. There we go. So, we'll do this. Okay. Stick all these bad boys together. Yeah, boom. Now we got mega torches around so we don't end up dying to creepers. Because we almost had a creeper blow up our reactor while we were trying to figure this whole whether or not nuclear spent nuclear waste is gas or not. While we were just chilling. So we don't want that to happen. Okay, so you got that going. Now we got to... I want to upgrade this and see if we can make it go faster. So, stats burn rate, it's set at 10 right now. Uh, limit, can we do 20? Let's see. Uh, did that change anything? Hmm. Burn rate, rate limit, 0.1 millibuckets per tick. How do we... Hmm. All right, we got it. You just do a, a point. So, like 0. 0.5? Yeah, there you go. That's our current burn rate. It's not making too many moves. Now, my main concern is this not blowing up, right? So, uh, well, it needs to be daytime and not raining, right? So we'll go ahead and go back and sleep and we'll see. We'll see how well this is going for us. Let's see, take a nap. All right. Uh, 
Come on now. Get back down there. Oh, wait, no. Gotta go up. Dum dum. Which reactor? Oh, okay. Well, it's daytime. It's not raining. Oh, cool. It's got a little uh, visual effect. Well, that's interesting. Oh, you go, you go real quick. You go like really quick. That's still slow as fuck, dude. Okay, how about a one? What about a four? Don't like that one. Don't like that one. Okay, three. How about a three? Like a three? Nope, still don't like a three. Okay, back to two. Back to two. Abort. Okay. All right. When in doubt, throw more sinks at the problem. All right, more sinks seems to have fixed the problem. We're at a four burn rate. Uh, we are generating this stuff pretty quick. Now, we just got to get this thing on. So, we're going to need another sink. Our best friend, the sink. Eh. Okay. Grab that. There. Eh. Turn. 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 Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Get it on. There we go. Okay. There we go. So, it should start spitting out here. All right. Boom. Polonium pellet. There we go. That is done. So sweet. All right, now let's make the other stuff for this. So we just need another one of those. And we also need plutonium. That's the isotropic centrifuge, right? Okay, we can do that one real quick. Uh, isotropic centrifuge, should be enough to make another one. We do, perfect amount. I love when that happens. Um. Let's grab some more of these bad boys. Now we'll make sure to do that. Grab this, put that in there. Fix that. Okay. Good. It's working. All right. Now, that in there. Okay. You are you are doing your thing. Nuclear waste. You're producing plutonium. Now, I don't know if you produce the spent nuclear waste stuff like this guy does, uh, but oh, we should probably put uh, input, output, energy, uh, uh, output. Oh, nope, not, wait, no, not that one, up. Output should be up for fluid, or wait, no, is this a gas? Wait a minute, nuclear waste. Oh shit, this might be bad. Let's see. Assuming it's a gas, right? That's what we figured out. So we'll do top output. Yeah, okay. So that's gone. That stuff goes in there. Perfect. We'll go ahead and hook this one. Oh, shit. Hook this guy all the way over here. Uh, it's going to look a little weird, but you know what? That's fine. Now, I don't know. Okay, it doesn't actually look like this guy produces the spent nuclear waste. So maybe we're good on that one. Okay. We'll go ahead and slap some power on that. You gotta do that one. Now you produce this stuff and to get that we need the chamber. Right? Well boys, we've got another horrendously ugly setup, but you know what? It works, so I don't really care. We've got our fluorite coming in from over here, same as our centrifuge. It just comes up through a different pipe goes into the top of our reaction chamber and the centrifuge shoves its uh, plutonium out through here, up into there. It's powered from the back. It's got the same sink hooked up as this, uh, this reaction chamber over here for the polonium. It goes through here, fuels that sink. The chamber shoots its nuclear waste out over into our little massive barrels and it produces our lovely plutonium pellets. So now the only thing that's really left is a uh, waiting game on uh, polonium because, oh, and, well, I guess and plutonium too, because we need that to make the SBS, SPS casings. And uh, then we can actually get the antimatter sorted. But a uh, couple of things we've run into is we don't actually have enough fizzle fuel to run our uh, burn rate higher. So we're gonna probably have to figure out some upgrades for that. Maybe we can uh, just toss in some more speed upgrades and things should be good. But I think we're gonna save that for next time. 
when we build our SPS casings. For now, that is going to do it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, please consider like, comment, subscribing. It really does help me out. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you in the next one. Later!